Welcome back. Whoa. Welcome back, boys. It's been two weeks. Two weeks too long. Two weeks too long. Holy. Uh, we took a little break for after Memorial Day weekend. We didn't have anything to do. We were just chilling. And oh, actually, 110 grill. Oh, we could try that. I want to try that. I, 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 a certain human said it was good. <laughs> we won't mention her name. Said it was good. I want to oh, try it's it. Girl. It's a woman. Yes. Where are you pointing at? I don't know. I gotta hold on. I gotta find the angles. I don't have the stick. Oh wait, I do have the stick. Hold on, boys. We're gonna put you on hold here. I'm gonna get the stick. Oh, a nice roof. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about this is what happens when we take a break for two weeks. Yeah, we're, we don't know we, what we're doing. We we're doing. I can't find the stick, guys. Hold on. Uh, oh, no. lights are falling off. All right, you want to explain? Uh, All right. Like, while you try to find the stick piece, I'm gonna try to explain this while he's trying to hold the camera the right way too. <laughs> uh, long story short, right now we're on a little adventure to go look, possibly at a surprise. I'm not gonna really go into detail what it is, but we're gonna go look at something. See, see what the, the general idea of what we're gonna be doing, what we're gonna be getting I'm at. I'm so sorry for my terrible stick, camera angles. The stick? Yeah, keep the stick, whatever. Yeah. All right, anyway, I, I got this, I'll just. Uh, we're going to look at a surprise just for a general idea, I guess. I, I don't wanna go too much in detail because it's, I, I, don't, it's, I don't know if it's gonna happen. It's not official, so we just, we don't wanna give anything away, we don't wanna say anything yet. But it, it it's in the works. It's, it's like it, it just I want I want to let it to come out, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want to be like, all right, this is what it is. This is what's happening. But like <laughs> I can't. Can't say anything. Not gonna say anything. We're gonna take a look at it. We're not gonna show you what it is yet, just because we don't know if it's final. So we don't want to make a video, put it out there, and it not be final, and it looks stupid. So we're gonna go look at it. Hope it's okay. We have other options too. And this might be something in the works that we're building up. So we'll update you guys when we come back in the car. Let you know how it is. I'll tell you, it's a pretty quick car. Pretty quick. Am I wrong? Good. Yeah, or is it pretty slow? What should we say? It's a slow? Slow car. You know, it's got no power at all. Super slow. <laughs> no, it's a fast car. Take a look at it. And I no, hope. I hope all goes well. We need everything to fall into place for this one. Unfortunately, right, we need everything to fall, we need everything to fall in place. So hopefully everything falls right, in place. Just, you know, from, from now until we get there, it's 27 minutes. No, that's not bad. Okay. It's okay. Just, I think it's just a straight shot, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Straight shot. So 27 minutes out, boys. We'll update you guys. It's, 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 come not, back. it's not fast, but it's not slow. No, it's not slow. Let's say it's somewhere around the W range. Yeah, roughly. So hopefully all goes well. Get it, dude. Get it, get it, dude. Woo! Change of plans. So, <laughs> quick change of plans. Quick change of plans. So, the dealership kept it on the website. We've been to this many times. This has happened so many times. When he went to go look for the WX, there were so many dealerships that we went to that said, we sold it today, it sold the other day, it sold months ago, but it's still on the website. Now, they say they remove it within 24 to 48 hours, but that's complete BS. They actually don't. It sits there for months and months and months leading people on to think that the car is still there, but it's not. So if you're ever looking for a vehicle, please don't do what we did and just show up. Call the dealership and ask for the inquiry on the vehicle, so that way you know if the vehicle is actually there or it's been sold. And if it has been sold, it's not been taken off, you can give them some back talk because they're supposed to remove it right away, and that's their profits on them. So we're going to look at another vehicle. If we haven't told you guys already, it's another car. We're going to look, we're about an hour away, we're going to look. Oh, is it is it a car? Is it a car? Is it is it a car? Is it a car or is it a truck? It, or is it a not? Or, or is, is it, it a motorcycle? Or is it a two wheeler? I, I don't know. We're going what to look. It? I don't know. I guess we got to keep you guys in a cliffhanger. We're going to go look at that. We are able to test drive it. Thank the Lord. Drive it, and now we're going to get your reaction on the way back. Hopefully, prayers up. Snapchat guy, video, baby. Snapchat. Get ready. <laughs> the guy said that we could test drive it, so let's hope he. Keeps his word. Keeps his promise after, keeps an, his hour. Pro keeps his promise after an hour drive. We we'll test drive it. Cut down the time too. The time. Yeah. Six oh. Said six oh two. We beat you by two minutes. We beat you by two minutes. We just <laughs> told us to get there because we didn't want it to take an hour. They closed at seven o'clock, and we didn't want to get there at six thirty and test drive it. We wanted to get there at six, so we took the toll route. A um, mass turnpike right now. Sorry, my voice is cutting up. <clears throat> oh, buddy, what are you doing? So we're flying. We're getting there, bud. 
Actually, I got a funny story to tell you. Sorry what? to cut you off. Last night, I'm driving home from the track. Yeah. I'm in the left lane, the high speed lane. I'm driving. This lady goes around somebody in the CRV. Oh, God, and of course. Then, yeah, of course, right? The CRV goes around. So, you know how like, I'm, I'm coming home from the track, they, they get the lane like this, like the breakdown lane, it's like you get another lane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm right here. She goes from over, no directional, starts moving over. So, I'm, I'm going like this to get on this side of the lane to go by her. Yeah. She starts coming back over. Oh, my I'm God. I'm like, are you stupid? So, I went to the breakdown lane and went like this one. And just stared at her. <laughs> and she's looking at me. And then she gets behind me and I went like this. I went, Oh my, you brake checked her? Oh yeah, of course I did. Jesus. Get this. She thought her CMV was faster than the WRX. She tried catching catch it up to me. Oh my Couldn't God. Couldn't catch up to me. I hit traffic, like, like cars in front of me. Yeah. So she went around me in the next lane. And I like, I let off and I, you know, I'm trying to, like, I don't want, I got, I got nothing to do with her anymore. Yeah. She cuts in front of me and slams her brake. So I went around her, looked at her and said, you want to play this game? So I got in front of her and slammed my brakes. Oh my put the clutch and put it in neutral because you know I'm never trying to stall on the highway. Slammed my brakes and she went ah! and then I took off. Come to find out, she got off the same exit as me. 99. Oh my God. Got off at 99. We were at the light. You're like, you know, the, you, I go right. Yeah. She's in the light and I, I'm in the, the yield lane. I'm sitting there in the yield lane. My window down and I went, try it. Come on. <laughs> she stared at me and I said, see him. And I, oh off. my God, that's too funny. Ah, oh, the things we experience around New England driving on the highway. Dude, I was like, your CMV is not faster than my WRX. I know. It's just not. Also, the first official race of the season, was it? The first uh, yes. First official got, race. We got rained out two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. They placed second. So they, if I, a little backstory here, quick. Um, they race legend cars and in our, on, one, on one of our local tracks. So they've been doing it since, you know, 2001. We, we started racing in 2014. 14, 13. So they've been doing it for years. Um, they're really good. His brother is the one that drives the car. Him and his father work on it. They've been driving the cars for forever. And they do a lot of competitive races in Connecticut, in yeah, New Hampshire, Maine, New York, Maine, New York and uh, Charlotte. obviously Charlotte. And then they're local in Rhode Island. And Charlotte, by the way, wink, wink for the future, just letting y'all know. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> cough, cough. So anyway, they placed second by what? Was it three thousandths of a second, which is basically like an inch just under an inch. Yeah. Hell of a race, great race. I saw the highlights and it was awesome. Great race by Brendan, which is his brother. So it was a great first race, which he got a little ballsy, which we don't usually see him get ballsy. He went three wide and what, turn three on the last lap, uh, second, second to last, second lap. last lap. So um, we don't usually see that from him. So he actually put the pedal down and he, he, he drove very well last night. So that was good to see, but kid got second place. We're first, actually about to be there. We're, we're the away here, so. Oh, we're about to be there, boys. Here we go. And just like that, we're back in the car, man. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Can we please get some food? No caption. I don't know where to eat, though. I don't either. <laughs> Dude, that was a blast. That was an absolute blast. That was a. That was an what, 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 what do you think? I think. I think. You think it's a full sender? I think we got a send on our hands, bud. I think we have a full send on I our hands. I think we have a full send on our that, hands. That was, that was insane. That was... That was a... Oh, my that bad. is one hell. I don't even want to say anything. I don't know. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. I don't want to give it away. Let, um, it, it was just unbelievable. I, I wasn't expecting it. Yes. Now, not to say that any of our plans that we've already expressed throughout our channel so far in the last three months has completely changed because it has not changed. Still, still want to do the same stuff. Still want to do everything the right yeah. way. Now, we're just saying that it may change. It's not a guarantee we're right now. We're not even 50-50 right now. We're like 60, not even like 70-30 right now. 70 about it, 70 percent staying the same, 30 percent there's a chance that it doesn't fog on the trees. Yeah, I think it's the humidity. Oh no, it's this guy. His house is on fire. Oh, nice. He's burning coal or wood or something. Something. I don't know. So it's not, yeah, not to say that something's completely changed. Uh, we may actually fall into other options. There might maybe, be other options than what we're doing right now. And we may stay into the same option that we have now, which we don't hate the option we have now. We're just exploring better other. opportunities that come along the way. To put it this way, way, while while the used car sales is extremely high for some reason right now, we are looking at options not to get rid of stuff and to change, like he said, to change way of the channel and, and what what's going to happen and what the projects are going to be. But while the, the market is high for used cars, you, you want to explore. You want to put the foot out there and put the head and, and peek around and see what's going on. You know what I mean? So I don't want to 
say too much because if it, if it doesn't happen, we'll obviously say what, what happened and what, what the situation was. But if the situation does happen, you'll find out. So either way, you're going to find out what the situation was and, and what happened. But for right now, the channel is obviously still going to where it's going to be. It's still doing the same things. Some things are going to be slowing down and we're going to have to find content to make and, and go from there. That's essentially what we got. You know what I mean? But for the time being, I think it's time to eat. Yes, but one, one, last, on one last note, it's an opportunity to look for bigger and better. So when you have an opportunity to look for bigger and better, <laughs> sometimes it's figuratively, but this but, one's... But, but Cameron... What do you mean by bigger and better? Sometimes it's literally bigger and better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, I don't want to give anything away. Is it a big two-wheeler? I don't know. I don't know. But but the th the craziest part is about this vlog and you guys that are watching this video, you guys have absolutely no, no idea, idea what we just did. <laughs> no idea. No idea. And it's crazy because obviously we do and in the video, we took videos of it and you know, I'd love to show you the videos, but we just can't. We can't do it. Because if it pulls through and next thing you know there's something here, then yeah, it's a game changer. Fat game changer. That would be a real game changer. I think it'll, it'll be like a channel difference. Yeah, it's no exotic. It's nothing, nothing too. Oh my god, you think we can afford an exotic right yeah, now? You're, nothing, you're, it's nothing. You're sniffing. It's nothing that above and beyond. But for our means right now, with the way we live and the way we are, that is something that could change. Change everything. the way. We persuade our channel and persuade our lives and persuade the things that we have gone through throughout this channel and the plans that we have made. So this what's, was a plan. What's going on here? I don't know. You couldn't seem to move over like the four seconds you seen him on the on ramp. Come on. This was a plan that. Oh yeah. We could have made years ago. Prior to anything. Prior to anything, but we had the WRX stuck in his head, and that's what he wanted. Is one of his good friends from school had one. And he drove it and he loved it. He said, that's it. And sometimes you have a change of heart. Things change. Not to say that we still don't love the WRX. It's just, is the process going as smooth as we want? Because you guys saw the inlet build, the whole inlet build, the inlet snap and the whole trying to put the aftermarket on with it, with the front mount intercooler, and then having to take that off just to get the stock inlet on. And luckily being able to use the uh, blow off valve from throttle thing. Dude. At least we got to use something out of that. But you're telling me. That was supposed to be a perfect fit. We've watched videos of people doing it. It's like an experience thing that people do. And it's not anything, we thought it would be something that we did wrong. We did everything perfectly correct and everything fell into place. But, but yet it, it still failed. But yet it still failed. So. This was just something that, not to say that it like threw us off completely and we hate the car. It's just, we have insane plans for this thing. Like, if we, if that fails, what do we do with this big thing? Or how about the biggest thing that we have not told you guys yet that oh, we dude. are gonna do? If, if we can't put a front mount on, I don't understand how we're gonna put that on. And not to say that we can't build cars because we can and that's why we have this channel is to build vehicles. That's what we wanna give you guys and it's for ourselves too. But sometimes you buy vehicles that run into problems. And not to say that if we bought another WRX, we could. Well, I think we just bought the wrong WRX. <laughs> there's, there's a perfect way to sum it up for the, what I was going to say. I doubt it because they're all the same thing. They're just gear mileage is different. I don't know. I don't, we don't know what happened. But I think we're looking at it now is we got lucky with the used market going up and getting more money for the car. And I think we're looking at it as a financial standpoint for business. Will we run into more financial problems with this, or will we run into, or will we run into even less with what we just looked at? So, so like he said with the financial part of it, which will be good to, to implement this, right? As yeah. in, as in the financial things, because whatever we just went to go look at, obviously we know what it was. Whatever we went to go look at, we know what we want to do to it. We know what, what it makes. We know what what will happen if we do certain things to it. And we know that it's a full bolt on. Yeah. So it's not like anything's gotta be aftermarket installed or anything like that. So we know what the outcome of that would be. Now, mind you, we put the front mount on, that's $1,500, right? Brand new front mount. Put that on, you saw everything happen, the inlet blew off, the blow off valve blew off. So we bought a stock inlet and a stock blow off valve. What'd that cost totally? Like 
1800. No, 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 no stock no. The, the blow off valve. Oh, that was OEM and, uh, and lit. That was 500. So, like 500 bucks just for OEM stuff, okay? Then I bought in a hurry that same night that the stuff broke. I think we put that in the vlog, I can't remember. I think we did, or it was a Snapchat memory, one of the two. That same night, I bought an aftermarket inlet. And an aftermarket blow off valve. Oh, okay, hold on. The aftermarket stuff was 500. The yes. OEM stuff, I think, was like 250 or 300 or something. Yeah. That wasn't so too bad. So, just between OEM and aftermarket, we were just looking under just under $1,000. Yep. So now we go to install the aftermarket inlet. Problems with that, can't use it because it, it something doesn't work with it that, that, that we have no idea what's happening, right? So, we use the OEM inlet with the aftermarket blow off valve tried figuring that out so now mind you i wasted 1500 on the in, uh the inter intercooler another 700 on everything and only took the stock inlet and the stock uh the, the stock inlet and the aftermarket blow valve but i couldn't return the oem blow off valve because i opened it hey it was an intercooler so just in that project we're like two grand plus into the hole yeah just in that that's a lot of money where whatever we just went to go look at you could put that quote unquote two grand into it and have no issues. None. None. No issues. And it'd be a better life. This car is more well built, in my opinion. Just well built. He doesn't like the boxer motors. He doesn't he's not a fan of them. He's afraid not, of them. Not a not a huge and, and honestly, to be honest with you here, I'm gonna look you dead in the face when I say this. Since that intercooling install, I've been very skeptical of this car. And you've known this has been my dream car since I was 13 years old. Yeah. And you've known that. So to, to say that my dream car is now my biggest worry, hard thing to swallow. A big pill to swallow, hundred percent. Yeah. Wait, yeah. you know what else? Never mind. I wasn't. Even, I was gonna. I was gonna say, you know what else I'm gonna be swallowing right now? <laughs> Fuck up. Some fucking food. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to make a joke like that. And say, you know what else I'd love to swallow right now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, YouTube is looking at that. Yeah. No way. Uh. After, after the situation we just went through and after this talk we just had with you guys, I think it's time to get some food. Yes sir, all our secondary plans are... Uh, Closed. A little late for that. Paused. And we were just going to do a little uh, painting. <laughs> I... Because this car is like... Yeah, I'm not a huge... I can't believe I'm going to say it. Actually, you know what? I am going to say it with confidence because I already showed you guys the AutoZone intake on my car, which thank you, <laughs> thank you for the love on the video. I, I, I was actually, I wasn't expecting that. No, thank you for the love on the video. I, I, we worked hard on those, actually those two videos. That was, uh, that was a lot. So in that video, I actually expressed that I have an AutoZone intake on it, but also I plasti dipped my grill. Um, not something I'll be doing with future cars. <laughs> Those are going to be real grills. We'll, we'll get upgraded grills. Upgraded <laughs> grills, yeah. Like, yes, uh, real grills, not plastic. But I actually had just did some touch-up paint, and I got some of the touch-up paint on my grill. So I was going to repaint it. Just like little things we are just going to slap in the vlog. And I don't think we're going to have enough sunlight. I mean, maybe we grab a is flashlight. This, this, is, this is the exit. My dad's house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take the right, take the right. Um, we, we... No, I did. Yeah, wink, wink on that one, too. Um... If we have time, uh, if we can maybe we'll do it in the dark. It's not that hard to do. We just have to slap a coat on it. I'm gonna put some clear coat on what it. We do need, but we need food first. But I, if we have time to do it, we'll do it. If not, that will be a short mini vlog tomorrow. So if you're watching this video right now and those clips are not in there, then uh, look for tomorrow's go. video. There you go. Like I said, it's time for the food, baby. Yo, a little too loud in there today, Cameron. Camera, 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 camera. It's fun, dude. Too loud, we couldn't vlog in there. Yeah, it was a little bummer. Right, bummer, bummer. I got chicken tenders and a daiquiri. We're still hungry, so. We're gonna go get some pizza rolls. I yeah, know, here's a stop. Gosh, pizza rolls. Before the grocery store decides to close. <sighs> and, oh, my headlight. 